In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a low polygon count model of a bishop and a high polygon count model of a bishop using the Boolean modifier to cut out the groove at the top. You will need to see my tutorial on how to make a pawn. This is the starting point for this tutorial and I will put this file on my website. But the method to get to this point is identical to my tutorial on making a pawn, so I suggest you follow that. I'm panning down using shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to zoom in using the mouse wheel. I want to extrude perpendicularly outwards at 90 degrees, so I'm going to press E to extrude, immediately followed by the enter key. Then I press S to scale, and I come out at 90 degrees. A normal extrusion, E to extrude, go upwards, click the mouse button. Now I want to extrude uh, perpendicularly inwards, so I press E to extrude, immediately followed by the enter key, then S to scale, and I shrink that in. E to extrude, a little bit thick, so I'm going to do Control Z and S to scale again, shrink it in just a little bit. Now E to extrude to there. I want to extrude perpendicularly outwards, so E to extrude immediately followed by enter, then S to scale and go outwards. E to extrude. And again, I want to go perpendicularly inwards, so E to extrude immediately followed by enter, then S to scale, bring that in. Carry on working up the model using normal E to extrude followed by S to scale. E to extrude followed by S to scale. Now the obvious difficult part is the groove cut out of the bishop. Carry on working up, ignore the groove, and I'll show you how to deal with the groove next. I'm going to go into object mode and I'm going to add mesh cube. I'm going to press S to scale followed by X for the X direction and shrink that down. I'm going to use the tip of the blue arrow to move the cube up and the tip of the red arrow to move it across and I'm going to press R to rotate and I'm going to rotate that so that it's parallel with the groove. Shift and middle mouse button to pan down and zoom in with the mouse wheel and I'm going to use the tips of the blue and red arrow to fine tune the position of the cube and if I go to the properties of the cube I can fine tune the thickness of the cube by clicking the X scale. To make the groove I'm going to use the boolean modifier. I'm going to select the bishop and go to modifiers, add modifier, boolean. The operation I want is difference and it's the difference between the bishop and the cube. I'm going to apply that modifier and I'm going to select the cube and delete it and we have our groove. Although the boolean modifier is quick and easy to use it does not come without problems. The computer generates a new mesh and doesn't worry about making lots of small triangular faces which cause problems when we apply smooth shading and even more problems when we apply the subdivision surface modifier you get misshapen bits. Fortunately there is a quick solution there is another modifier the edge split modifier which cures most problems not quite perfect but pretty good low poly model there. For a high poly version of the model, I found I got the best results by applying the subdivision surface modifier first, so I'm going back to an earlier version of the model before I added the boolean modifier. I'm going to select the bishop and add the subdivision surface modifier. Set the level of subdivision to what I want, and I need to go into edit mode and add loop cuts to square off edges. I'm going to stop the recording there and carry on adding loop cuts. 
I'm going to go into object mode and apply the subdivision surface modifier. I'm going to add the boolean modifier and the operation I want is different and I want to select the cube but as soon as I select the cube my computer is going to go very slowly as thousands and thousands of calculations are done so I'm going to stop the recording and click cube now I'm going to click apply on the boolean modifier but again I'm going to stop the recording because it's going to grind my computer to a halt now I can select the cube and delete it, press and delete on the keyboard and we get a nice clean edge but unfortunately if I apply smooth shading we still get problems around the edge which can be cured to a degree by adding the edge split modifier which gives a good result but not perfect. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished models at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.